All right, so in this movie, I'll show you how to work with PowerPoint's text and image placeholders, which are really the best way to ensure consistent placement and alignment of your on-slide elements. So let's go ahead and begin just by looking at our design comp real quick to see what we need placeholders for. All right, so first you can see that there's this header image up top and some heading and body text below it. And then finally on the bottom, we actually have the video images, the thumbnails, and the title and description for really the gallery objects. The key to understanding which items should go on slide masters is really the persistent elements. Look for persistent objects, elements that remain static over multiple slides. Placeholders work best where the layouts are static, but the on-slide elements change from slide to slide. So looking at this design comp, we can see that all these objects are for the most part gonna be static, other than the title, the video title, and the video description. The only other element that changes from slide to slide is that selector graphic, and we have it comped out right here to indicate which slide you're actually on. But everything else is static. So for this type of interaction, I'd probably move everything to the slide master and create placeholders only for the titles and the descriptions here. And since we're not gonna change the video thumbnails from slide to slide, they also can be added to the slide master. All right, so let's get out of the design comp and open our slide master by going to view, slide master. All right, we know that we want placeholders for the video title and description, so PowerPoint's title and content layout is as good as any to work with, and that's what we already selected with on right here. Now we don't need the footers, the footer elements right here, so we could delete them, or we could just turn them off up here in the master layout and just disable them and they'll go away anyway. Now, you know what actually make this a little bit easier is to actually bring that design comp into our slide master. Then we could just use the uh, design comp to kind of guide where we put each of our objects. So let's go ahead and do that. So insert, pictures, select the design comp, and click insert. I'm gonna send this to the back, so right click, send to back. And now we can begin aligning our title and content placeholders for the primary video. Now I can't see it so well right here, so I'm just gonna grab this and move it over, and I'll do the same with uh, the description. I'm gonna select both of these and turn their alignment to left. And I'm gonna make a quick change right here, and let's resize this one. One thing I can also do is update the title. So I can display uh, video title here, a custom message for the uh, title. I don't have to use that default placeholder text. And I know I probably better make this a little bit smaller. Change the color to a little bit lighter. Let's go ahead and move these in place and see how close we're doing. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit right here. And let's make that title a little bit smaller. Make sure not to select the design comp. That's where the arrow keys will come in nice and handy. And I'll move that down to 14. I'm gonna take a look at see how this looks real quick just by turning off the uh, background image. So if I go to select selection pane, I can actually disable the picture. And you'll notice that the your te uh, te text placeholders are actually gonna overlap a little bit. That's okay, because the text isn't overlapping, and that's really what you care about here. But I also see that I need to align them, so I'm gonna shift-click both, align, and align left. And the next thing I wanna do is just make sure that the placeholder box here for the description is lined up, and I'll do the same right here, so that it won't go any wider. Now the final step, the thing I wanna do before we continue is make sure that the auto sizing is turned off. That's because by default, I'm just gonna select one of these text boxes, right click and choose format shape, text options. By default, PowerPoint likes to shrink text on overflow. So if you have too much text, it just makes it smaller and just keeps fitting text in there. Always like to turn this off because I'd always rather prefer having to rewrite a description or a headline, a title, and not have my font sizes change as I go from slide to slide, right? Or maybe I, you know, if my title wraps, maybe I need two layouts to manage it, but I'd rather do that than have uh, the font size change uh, from slide to slide. It just looks like I hadn't planned for 
uh, what I'm using. So I always like to disable that by turning it to do not auto fit. Okay, so these are in place. That's all we're doing in this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll go ahead and add the gallery headers, the column headers, and then of course our slide header and uh, start to set this part up.